What's up you guys? It's Pokegirl7 here and in today's video we're visiting a treasure island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So a treasure island is basically the place where cheaters go. It's cheating! It's cheating! I'm just kidding. The treasure islands are basically islands that are ran by people who have hacked their Nintendo Switches to have all the items available in the game on their island for people to come visit and get whichever items that they need. Sometimes you can find money islands, you can find Nook Miles ticket islands, you can find islands that are full of all the different sorts of furniture, clothing items, DIYs, you have all of it. This is a common thing over on Twitch. I believe it's common on YouTube as well, but basically you have streamers that will be sometimes running like 20 different islands at a time that are considered treasure islands and they have so many different items that you need some of them you have to subscribe to their channel to use the codes to go to their islands and then other ones do it completely free so we're gonna hop on twitch and see what kind of treasure islands we can find and visit today I'm actually very excited to do this now I did make the joke about cheating and this is of course obviously cheating in a way because you're just like getting everything handed to you the people who hack their switch are really the one cheating but you guys kind of get what I mean but for me personally it never bothered me if people cheat in animal crossing i could care less i'm a dirty slimy time traveler anyway so i can't really say much about cheating so <laughs> we're going to try to find some treasure islands today i'm gonna hopefully find some cool like diys i've never had before or something we may even stumble across a money island or a nook mile ticket island either way it should be a lot of fun so let's hop on twitch and see what we find Okay, so this is what it looks like when you look up Animal Crossing New Horizons on Twitch. You do see some regular creators who are just streaming the game, and then you have other people who have their treasure islands. So as you can see here, this one has 150 something viewers. I'm going to try to find one that has like 40 or less viewers, like maybe this one. Okay, as you can see, this person has multiple islands running, and usually these islands are like a 24-7 type of thing, so you can pretty much hop on Twitch any time of the day or night and find yourself a code to travel to an island. So let's see, this one says it has, none of these are really full. Usually it'll say how many visitors are on the island. Most of these aren't maxed out right now, so I could probably visit any of these that I wanted to at the moment. Um, some of them have commands like exclamation point sub. I think those are the ones you have to subscribe to visit. We're going to try a free one for the first island and see how it goes. So I'm just going to visit one of these randomly and see what I find. Okay, so we're going to put in the first Dodo code that I found. So this person actually didn't have the exact titles of each island on their screen screen. Sometimes on the stream you can see like what exact kind of island it's going to be. Like if it's going to be a place that has a bunch of furniture or a bunch of DIYs and that sort of thing. This one didn't really have any categories. It just kind of had different codes for all the different islands. So I just picked one at random and it's going to be a nice little surprise when we show up on the island. I will say I'm a little bit nervous because like this is technically cheating and I'm visiting a hacked island. So what if like my island gets deleted or something like that? <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Of course course do all this stuff at your own risk if you're wanting to try this. I don't know if this is actually allowed. It's, it's definitely not on the like the owner of the islands end. I don't know if visiting it is a bad thing though. I don't really know how Nintendo sees that or if they do anything about it but it would be crazy if my switch got like banned. <laughs> okay so it looks like the island is called Walt 2A through G. Okay I think I think what this means is it's going to be the all the 2.0 items that came out in Animal Crossing alphabetically A through G. I think it's going to be all the items A through G. So I can kind of just walk through there, look through everything, and pick up what I need. Maybe I should do exclamation point rules in the chat of this Twitch streamer and figure out exactly what the rules are. And we are officially here. Just look at that overview of all these items. This is going to be absolutely insane. So I did do exclamation point rules in the chat. That was the command that tells you everything you need to know. It says, be respectful of others, be kind, no spoilers, no links, spam or promotion. Uh, don't share the code, don't leave your menu open, no learning DIYs, no catalog, so it says always take what you want home with you. So I'm just going to pick up things and go. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, it says always leave via the airport. I think if you do like the minus sign leaving, it like knocks everyone off the island and it's really bad. So I need to remember that. Be considerate of others. If you're looking for how to access our subscriber perks, use one of the commands in the title of the stream. So when you visit these sort of streamers, consider supporting them. Um, I guess it just depends how you feel about it. These people are running their stuff 24-7 and like getting all these islands together to help out other players. So I think it's really cool and um, it's definitely worth supporting them for all the help that they've given us. This is the first impression of the island. So I don't know what all these like squares are. I don't get how this works. Okay, so I think each individual square is like where an item is supposed to be. That must be how the creator like keeps track of everything. 
look at this so there's turnips everywhere you could literally just pick up a bunch of turnips and go back home and sell them i feel like things like this i might leave for others that need it i'm not really like desperate for money in this game right now so we have a bunch of crops here crops can be really useful like if you plant enough of them on your island and sell them you can rack up some money. That's a good way to grind up some bells. We have a bunch of glowing moss. We have vines. What are these? Wait, vine ladder setup kit? I don't even think I know what this is. I'm totally going to take that then. So I guess you just reach down and grab stuff and take it. <laughs> this is so weird. They have a bunch of starts to plants. It's just like as far as the eye can see, there's items. Oh my god. Wait a minute. They have all of the the gyroids. I totally want to take home a squeakoid. Can I take home a squeakoid? It's like the best one out of all the gyroids. You cannot argue with me about that. Look how cute they all are just standing there all together. There's the squeakoid. Oh my goodness, I'm totally taking one. Hello. So how the heck does this work? Does the hacker like replace the items after people pick them up. I don't really get it. We have a glass showcase. I don't have one of these on my island. They have all the different colors too. This is actually crazy. So I'm going to pick up the pink one, I think. I'm just going to pick up one of things that I need. I'm not going to go crazy and just like overdo it. But look at all the people here. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm assuming you can stay as long as you want, as long as you follow the rules and like you can go through all the items. I will say one reason I don't feel too bad about cheating is because I've played for almost two years now and I feel like I have a lot of the items. I've worked really hard for a lot of my items and the ones that I don't have, I'm just like, just go ahead and give them to me. Okay. And then we have the Animal Crossing 2.0 update recently and um, I just feel like there's so many items that came out in the update. Whoa, look at this glitch. This is weird. Oh my god, the island is so full that it's like glitching out. Or is maybe that how it's supposed to be? I've never had one of these giant ornaments before. I'm totally gonna take a pink one. Thank you. Oh my god, this is amazing. <gasps> I've never even seen these things. There's so many items I've never seen before in this freaking game. I'm taking that colorful gear tower. I'm assuming they're lined up in order. It really doesn't matter. Wait, I just thought of something. <laughs> I can't even pick up that much stuff right now because I didn't even clear out my um, pockets before I came to this island. So, I mean, they're going to have to leave and come back later or just go to a different island or something. I I need to be careful anyway, so I don't need all of this stuff. I, I do need a pink gazebo, though. <laughs> you're not supposed to drop things on the island, I don't think. Like, whatever you pick up, I think you're supposed to... You're supposed to keep in your pockets and they have trash cans laying around the island sometimes so you can like throw away items that you don't want anymore and okay this is what happens when someone leaves this is what you're supposed to do you have to be really patient uh doing this treasure island hunting because people do come and go constantly um this is why you're not supposed to do the minus sign leaving though because at least we all get to sit here and watch them leave through the airport screen if they wouldn't have done that if it said like someone is leaving quietly it would have kicked us all off the island so this person did it right i can't believe things like this even exist um i am like a greedy little dirty slimy cheater i feel like but i don't know maybe i'll just take what I need, not go overboard with it, and, you know, just use these items to make my island look pretty. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, you know? I mean, how do you guys feel about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Does cheating in games bother you or not? In my personal opinion, I think cheating is kind of bad if it's affecting others and their gameplay, but if it's something like Animal Crossing that doesn't really affect other people, I don't really see the problem with it. And I had no idea that existed. A game show stand? What? That's actually really cool, but I gotta be careful with what I pick up. This is so hard. Looks like we got a bunch of tools. We have some DIYs. Are these like new DIYs or something? Possibly, maybe? For some reason it's not telling me what they are, so that's unfortunate. But, oh my goodness, there's so many things. Not sure what these are supposed to be. Some things don't have like a little title that pops up. Whoa! I've never seen these. Oh, okay. Those are the little snow people. I, I didn't know you could customize them to, to those colors. I don't think. I've never done that. Froggy chairs! Oh, if you need a froggy chair, this is the place to go. I have froggy chairs catalog, thank God. <laughs> it took me forever to get. If I would have known about these treasure islands, I would have definitely done this a lot sooner. And this is really cool. Oh my God, forbidden altar? That's sick. I don't need anything like that right now. Like, how much pocket space do I have? I'm just going to pick up things that I think would go good on my, like, kid core slash cute core island I got going on. Look at this. Does this make your stomach drop when I just run and woof? 
that straight off the edge. Is this supposed to be where the water is or something? Because I see the nets. That has to be what it is. Yeah, that's like the water that's not on this hacked island for some reason. Okay, it says floral sconce. What's a sconce? I'm not educated. I have no idea what that is. We got some fire hydrants. Got plenty of those. Oh, these vases are actually really nice. I've never had one in the game, I don't think. Um, I'll pick up one. Maybe this red one? It doesn't go with my current theme, but I think it would be cool with like an imperial theme or something. Festival lantern. I don't know what those are. Some of them don't have like the items set out for you to look at it, but it doesn't matter. I can't really be picky. <laughs> like, you know the person that did this, even though they're hacking, you know how much time they probably spent on putting this island together and getting everything laid out like this? Wow. Okay, so these are really cool. I like these bathroom sinks. I'm going to take a pink one. When in doubt, the answer is always pink just just do pink no matter what what it is like if it has a pink option go with the pink option <laughs> I've never seen these excavator things um, I have a bulldozer in my game but not an excavator that's pretty cool oh cool okay so maybe oh that's why I couldn't see some items I bet they were hanging items and I didn't even notice it some beautiful elegant mirrors I don't have any of those yet I don't believe we have some pretty lamps we got I like the elegant series of furniture I think it's really cool it's so hard not to just pick up everything especially when it's pink so like I said this isn't even like a cataloging island this is actually like you pick up the items and leave with them which is really cool so you don't even have to like buy them with your money because usually if you go to like a catalog island and pick up something you have it in your Nook shopping catalog, but you, you still have to pay the bells for it. This one, you just literally take it. And of course, you can buy more later in the catalog, but this is awesome because you actually get to take it with you. And am I the only one that's like so excited about that? I think it's so cool. Cool. They have all the dormant volcanoes. I love that item. I just recently got that myself for the first time. Um, by the way, the streamer that I'm watching right now has a command system where you can do exclamation point find in their chat and then you put find and then the name of the item that you're looking for. And I typed in exclamation point find Nook Miles tickets and the bot in the chat gave me the name of every island that has Nook Miles tickets on it. So I'm totally going to find one of those next and just like do a big treasure hunt for Nook Miles tickets because I love some Nook Miles tickets for my villager hunting. It's very important to me to get the villagers that I want with each theme that I do on my island. This is really cool. I've never had a decayed tree before. I've only had the spooky tree during the Halloween season with all the pumpkins hanging. So I'm going to take one of those. That's going to be very helpful later on whenever I do another spooky island. It feels like it's far away because we kind of just had Halloween. But then again, it'll be here before we know it. I'm kind of excited to do another Halloween island already. Oh, these are some of my favorite items. We have the crane machines. Love those. I have one already. I'm not going to take any. I'll leave some of those. Cool. I've never seen this covered counter. This gives me like western cowboy vibes. I take. <laughs> I take in the pink. Cool. I've never seen those. I have a store on my island. That's the last item I'm going to take this time around. I have a store on my island that could very much use that pastel colored uh, clothing rack. So I'm not even going to go through this whole island. We kind of get the gist. They have literally everything. But like I said, you can actually individually find the exact items that you need by using the special commands in the chat. And I think quite a bit of the Treasure Island YouTubers and Twitch streamers do this. So it's virtually the same on every island. So um, like I said, you do have to go back to the airport to leave so people don't have to get kicked off the island. I need to go home, empty out my pockets completely. Like I'm going with a full fully opened pocket space and I'm gonna try to go to like a Nook Mile ticket island or something like that. Okay so the next island I'm having a little bit trouble getting onto. It's probably a more popular island. This is the one that I'm trying to get some Nook Miles tickets from. So anytime that Orville says he can't go to the island for some reason that means that the island is full and you pretty much just gotta keep on waiting and keep saying uh, can you check again until enough people are off the island for you to come in. Uh, there's pretty much a queue of people waiting to get onto this island. See, here we go. It says, alrighty then, you're all set. So apparently someone just left and there's room for me now. So like I said, it's a game of patience. If you're like me and you don't really like waiting around long for things, pretty much just go to the Twitch channels that don't really have as many viewers and support them. Honestly, you're supporting the streamer that has less views and you're getting onto the islands easier. And you can subscribe to them or like donate bits or whatever to show your like appreciation for these streamers. I think it's really cool that they're doing this sort of thing. And look at that overview. It's so crazy. <laughs> 
just see all these items. It's pretty much the same as the last one. But this one was titled R through V. So I guess it's going to be all the catalog items R through V. I'm just going to run around this island and try to find some Nook Miles tickets. I don't really know how much I'm supposed to take. I don't really know the etiquette of this. Like, am I supposed to take as many as I want? Or should I, like, leave some behind? I guess we'll just see if there's, like, a bunch on the ground or not and go from there. Because um, I do like to do my villager hunts and have a lot of tickets. But I don't want to, like, take everything on these islands. I'm still new to everything. I don't know the exact rules to this kind of stuff, so I'm going to try to be as courteous as possible. We're on the next island! Yay! And it's cool because this person kind of has set up their islands to have the same layout and everything. Um, the airport is like right in front of Nook's Cranny and all that stuff. It's kind of convenient. And this place is like crop heaven. Holy crap, they have way more crops on this island than the last one. We're going to farm town. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! These are the Nook Miles tickets. Okay, I thought there would be like a little pile. Oh my god. It's like as far as the eye can see. <laughs> this is crazy. How many tickets should I take? I don't know what to do. It didn't say anything in the rules about this. It just said to pick up items. So I'm like, I feel guilty for taking these. <laughs> should I take like 10 of these different piles so I have 100 for my next hunt or is that too much? I don't know. Please someone in the comments let me know for next time if that's like against the rules or something. I didn't see any rules about like Nook Mile tickets or bells. I know some islands have bells on them. I feel guilty for doing that. I'm a dirty cheater. I'm a dirty dirty cheater. <laughs> Oh my god, it brings so much joy though to just like be able to do that. I could honestly take all of them, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna be nice. Well, actually, you could only take as many as your pockets will hold. But anyways, it makes things really easy because let's be honest, I probably would have gotten on Nookazon or something and gotten 100 tickets and would have traded something for it. Like this, this is just a little bit of a quicker way in my opinion than going on Nookazon and like trying to sort through everything and find people that will trade with you and stuff. It's like, either way, I was gonna get my hands on 100 tickets, and I have so many things uh, collected on my island, so many valuable things to trade, that um, I pretty much worked hard for the 100 tickets I would be getting anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm trying to make myself feel better about cheating. <laughs> this is so funny. It's so funny that I care. I guess I should leave it to where some things I have to work for still. There's just so many items in the newest update that it's kind of hard to like work for every single thing you know if you're like me and you care more about decorating and um just designing new island themes you you don't really care about the grinding as much okay. like for me i really prioritize just having all the items and being able to do whatever i want with them i don't really like the process of getting the items if that makes sense i would rather just have them all and then be able to be creative i view this game as like a creative sort of thing versus like a typical video game grind okay so i just looked into it i did exclamation point bells in this twitch chat and i found out the way to get unlimited bells in animal crossing not only is it like just get some bells for free no you can make it where you max out the bells on your island in your abd like on the atm in the game um basically you take 30 turnips from that island that you're on like the treasure island that you're on and you go sell it to timmy and tommy in nook's uh nook's cranny and apparently when you get back to your island your abd will say you have like the max amount which i think is like 9,999,999 so uh i'm actually thinking about trying that in another video so if you've made it all the way to the end of this video you kind of already know the, the little trick but i'm gonna make like a separate video showing myself doing all that because i feel like that's really smart for youtube first of all i feel like that would be a good video <laughs> and also i'm just gonna like do like a little mini tutorial on it so i guess that's all for this video that is my visiting treasure islands video if you want to see more of this type of stuff, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to do it. And I think anytime I see like an item somewhere that I really want and I just can't get my hands on it, I might start doing this. Just going to these islands, going to the alphabetical order that I need and just getting whatever item and leaving. Like I don't think I'm going to really overuse these and pick up every single thing I need on these islands because I do want to at least work for the stuff that I get a little bit. Uh, this is very helpful for Nook Miles tickets though, I will say that. As someone who really likes to get certain villagers that fit the theme that they're currently going with on the island, 
I think this is a great way to get the Nook Miles tickets. Um, I might still use Nook as on sometimes too, because sometimes I have valuable things that other people want to trade for, and it's always cool to help out other Animal Crossing players, so just do whatever you feel like doing, honestly. It's all about having fun, but I guess that's all for this video, so I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.